Last year we started with two designs, the Hoeybot and the Droidbot. We then combined both designs and then created the Dashbot 2.0. We then expanded our idea and we added a box attachment system, like shown here, and that creates faster attachment switches. We also added hard tires for accuracy, and the other tires, they would, they were, they would compress more, and these compress less. They are hard, and that made our missions more consistent. We also have the axles right here connected to the frame, and that creates less wiggle in the tires, so that the tires don't wiggle all over the place, and that can cr turn the robot inconsistently. We also added a second motor with a gear on it, and the, that creates a, a second attachment point, so we have two motors to operate on the robot. So this one can do a mission over here, and this one can do a mission back here, or over there, or anywhere. We also added two light sensors in the back, so we can square up on the back light sensors, so that means like when we're driving, it squares up on a line, and we know where our location is. And this is our robot this year. And we also have wall riders on the side so it can ride the wall. And we can also square up on walls so we can straighten our, um, our, so we know where our position is. As I explained earlier, we have a box attachment system. We have this because we wanted to spend less time in base and more time doing missions. Our goal ratio was one to four. That means one second in base equals four seconds out on the board. So our box attachment system, this is a model. It goes on pretty quickly, and we have a program that will be running inside um, one of our other programs, like our mission program, called Lock and Load. So this would spin the motors, and as we put it on, that will automatically engage with the gears. And there would usually be stall detection, which stops the gears, and we could run our program now. So our motor, our gears can run simultaneously, and this helps when multitasking missions.